Hi everyone, welcome to the Wild Side, and this week we're talking all about this prickly little mammal. Who is it? Find out on this episode of the Wild Side. Guys, today's guest on the wild side is this, a prehensile-tailed porcupine from South America. When full grown, the prehensile-tailed porcupine weighs up to 11 pounds. They can live up to 17 years, and typically their bodies are about 24 inches long. But then, you have to add another 19 inch long tail. This is Sargento, and he was born at the Abilene Zoo in Abilene, Texas. In fact, Sargento <laughs> was the first porcupine ever born here at the Abilene Zoo. Now, prehensile tailed porcupines are a nocturnal species, which means they spend their time moving around looking for food at night. Now, during the day, you can find them in the upper canopy of trees, where they can be seen resting on lower limbs or inside hollow trunks because they're avoiding their predators. Now, they are reported to move to a new tree each and every night. Now, he is a rodent, which means he has ever-growing teeth. Pretty bad eyesight, but an excellent sense of hearing. Now, just look at that tail. That is a fifth limb for this animal, giving him the ability to hang on to the trees as he traverses the Amazon rainforest. Now, when he's in the trees, what is he looking for? He's looking for his food. He's looking for bark. He's looking for flowers, fruit that hang from that, that tree, even nuts. Now, when the animal's chewing, it does tend to drop a lot of food down to the forest floor, giving other animals that live on the rainforest bottom an access to food they wouldn't necessarily be able to reach. Now, it could take up to six months to determine if prehensile tail porcupines are boys or girls, because all of the things that tell us that are inside of their body. In fact, scientists had to take a quill right off their back and send it in for testing to see what the DNA says about whether this is a boy or a girl. Now the quills on this porcupine are simply modified hairs, which he uses to defend himself against predators like the anaconda, the jaguar, birds of prey, uh, anything in the rainforest that might want to take a crack at this little animal here. Now he uses those quills not by shooting them like some kind of Pokemon, <clears throat> He has to back up into the predator, dislodging those quills and giving him an access to an easy escape. Now, prehensile tail porcupines are of least concern, but their habitat is not. We lose about a football field length of rainforest each hour that ticks by here on planet Earth. You can slow that down by reducing what you use and recycling. Guys, thank you for tuning in to another episode of The Wild Side right here on YouTube. If you could, share this video with your family and friends and let them know where you learned some amazing prehensile-tailed porcupine facts. And of course, click that subscribe button so you can follow us for more adventures. Until next time, everyone, find your wild side. Conservation definitely rules. And we'll see you the next time we walk on the wild side of your favorite species.